Hey guys, this is pretty exciting. We're getting back to our chatbot stuff today, and I have my headset on because we are going to learn how to use our microphone to speak with our chatbots. Makes it like way easier to uh, say complicated long sentences. And to be honest, I like playing with these chatbots and getting deep in there. But you know, after a while, if you have to type stuff over and over when you're testing stuff, a lot easier to use your microphone. So this is pretty cool stuff we're going to do here. Um, we're going to be using our Cobalt PPP, which is really an excellent uh, software. It's You just got to download it, and you can download one EXE, and it all works. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to easily install it so that you can use your microphone. But first, please like the video um, and share it if you can, because it helps the community so much. So thank you very much. And with that said, doo -doo, let's crack on over to the internet here. And what we're going to do, we're going to do a simple search for Gurganov, right? G G E R G A N O V, and we're going to type Whisper, because that's the technology we're using. And we're going to hit uh, in space, okay? And it's going to pop up this page. So let's click there. Now, uh, Whisper. Let me just tell you really quickly. Whisper is this cool technology that. Uh, takes uh, human language, multiple languages, and it translates it into the proper text. So I've used this software quite a bit with some professional stuff, and um, it's fantastic. So what they've done is they've adapted it so that it'll just read into your chatbot text thing. Um, in fact, let me show you something here really cool. Side trail. Hold on just a second. And what you're going to see here is that they've actually adapted this technology uh, to work with Skyrim. So you can actually use this Whisper model speak to it, it sends it into the uh, NPCs, and then it, it actually uses chat GPT to give you answers back. So that's a pretty incredible application of this technology. But we ain't going to be doing it for that. What we're going to do is use it so that we can have more in-depth conversations with our chatbots a lot easier. So what did we do? We typed Gurganov, Whisper, and then we typed Hug and Space. We grabbed this one. Gurganov's the guy that created Lama.cpp bring that okay we're going to click over here where it says files and versions now don't panic there's a million of these things in here but it's it's not as confusing as it needs to be first of all just mentally remove everything that says zip on you don't need anything with a zip okay what we're going to be doing is grabbing these ones that say dot bin okay don't worry about the q5s all this kind of stuff now you've got tiny you've got small medium large and base now that's um the size obviously of the model so the larger the model, the better it's going to work. If you're using something like Tiny, it's not going to work very well. It's going to probably be for like uh, cell phones or something like you just need basic commands. I have found that you might as well just go with large. So what we're going to do is just find this one here, just download it um, and save it somewhere on your computer where you can get at it. Save it where you save the rest of your models. Okay, that's all we need. So what we're going to do is we're going to rock on over to our Cobalt CPP. Okay. We're going to load it just like normal. So let's load up a, uh, a model. You can't see it on my screen, but I'll just grab something here. Um, okay, so we grab that. Now we're going to go over here where it says audio. This is where we go our whisper model. Okay, so you're going to go, you're going to find where you downloaded it. Okay, it's this drop bin thing, and it's going to pop that bad boy. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, now you can always go add your, uh, you know, you can add your image thing here and you can add Joseph but we're not going to worry about that. We just go back here we're going to click the launch okay it's going to take a second to load and then it's going to pop us into Cobalt CPP. Such a cool uh, application where I'm so easy. So from here what we do we click settings we click up here on advanced okay now you can play around with this up here if you want this is uh, like a uh, text to voice who can speak back to you kind of stuff. What we want to do is go down here where it says a speech control and it'll be defaulted to off. You can put it on a uh, detect voice uh, so that it's paying attention to when you speak, but I'm going to tell you it doesn't work that good because what it does is uh, it cuts off to her. So you get like half a sentence out. So instead what we're going to do is click this push to talk. We're going to press OK. And now we're going to go back to here. And we've got this button has now shown up. We've got a microphone ready. Now all we have to do is click this button. We have to hold it down. It kind of sucks, but um, you just click it. You say, "Hi, I'm so excited to see you. Do you have anything exciting to uh, tell me about?" 
And you're going to notice that it grabbed the correct, uh, what do you call it? Grab the correct punctuation. See, I didn't have, like with my phone, I often have to say things like, uh, hey, is there something you want to tell me about? Question mark. Um, I'm so excited to see you, exclamation mark. But with our whisper model here, it actually is putting that on there. So it goes, it gives a mischievous grin. Oh, I'm not quite sure. It seems like blah, 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 blah. Oh, so they're in the naughty antics. So now we can talk and say, uh, um, I don't even know you. Why are you talking to me like this? Like, we're complete strangers. Are have you lost your mind? Okay, so see that? It goes on and it's, uh, it grabbed everything I said. So that's a, that was a weird one. It kind of took us in a weird direction. It's like, I would like to hear a story about a frog whose name is Ribbit, a cat whose name is Meow, and a dog whose name is Piglet. The three of them go on a mighty adventure across Arkansas and end up finding true love down at the Mississippi at the end of their long journey. Now, the point of all that was that that was a lot of words. And it caught it all. So that's a lot faster, obviously, than I could um, have typed that in. Okay. And that was all just using the whisper model. So we went to the internet and we typed in Durganov whisper hug in space. We found the one, we clicked it, we clicked on files and versions. Okay. Then we found the dot bin. Okay. We ignored all the other nonsense. We just went and found the dot bin we want. They had tiny, small, medium, large, and base. We went with the large. Then we loaded up Cobalt CPP, loaded that model, got in here, went to our setting, pushed the talk. And then next thing you know, we were talking. We were making our story. And that way you can really interact with this on um large levels like i spend a lot of time with these chatbots just kind of pushing them to see what they can do so that i can make interesting um scenarios for them and, and for you guys uh and so using a micro it's a lot easier i don't have to type stuff so long save your finger space your finger stress all that so anyway that was really easy if you have any questions let me know i'm happy to help you as always and uh as always you stay good and you know yo we're gonna catch you on the other side